every police officer has that one case that frequents their every waking thought. This was that case for many people. And now we know what happened to Brittany Drexel. She was strangled within 24 hours of being kidnapped. Investigators say Raymond Moody, a convicted sex offender, also raped the teenager. Today, the sheriff announced Moody was charged with murder. Working for you with team coverage tonight from Georgetown County, we begin with investigative reporter Ann Emerson. And Ann, what was the mood like in that room today? Oh, Tessa, it was heartbreaking, but there was also this sense of profound gratitude. The suspect, Raymond Moody, is behind bars safely, and Brittany Drexel's remains are finally on their way home with her mom and dad. The why may never be known or understood, but today this task force can confidently and without hesitation answer the rest of those questions along with the who is responsible. The who is Raymond Douglas Moody. Raymond Moody, a person of interest in Brittany's disappearance since 2011. Now the man police say is responsible for taking her life. The accused, Raymond Moody, is in jail. He's charged with rape, murder, and kidnapping. In the coming months, we will uh, move to uh, seeking justice for Brittany. Solicitor Jimmy Richardson will prosecute Moody, who has already served 21 years for the rape and kidnapping of an eight-year-old in California. The FBI worked with local law enforcement to find Brittany. We've confirmed that Brittany lost her life in a tragic way, in a horrible, at the hands of a horrible criminal who was walking our streets. She was strangled. We asked if Moody acted alone, but there were other victims as well. Are there co-conspirators that you're concerned about with Ray Moody? Are we going to find out if there were any alleged victims besides? But the task force refused to answer any of our questions. We don't know what led them back to Moody, yet we know that Brittany's body was recovered just two and a half miles from the Sunset Lodge, where Moody was living at the time of her disappearance. Charges against Raymond Moody were made possible through investigative findings and evidence that led us to a possible site where Raymond Moody buried a deceased Brittany Drexel on or about April the 26th of 2009. Once Brittany's remains were positively identified through dental records and confirmed through DNA, Moody was charged with kidnapping, rape and murder and bond denied. The law enforcement task force finally had answers for Brittany's family as bittersweet as it was. They've never tired, they've never wavered, uh, they never quit working and they never gave up. Justice is never going to be uh, good enough. That's the, the fallacy in all of this. That well, Brittany's family, along with dozens of supporters, came out at this press conference. And our Katie Salt is here. She has the latest on the reaction from the family. Katie? Well, and it's the moments that have haunted Chad Drexel and Don Plekin for 13 years as they wondered what happened to their daughter. But today, as the sheriff said, we may never know the why, but now we know who police say is responsible for her murder. So now the quest for justice can begin. This is truly a mother's worst nightmare. Surrounded by a line of uniforms, Chad Drexel and Don Plekin emotional as they talked about the search and recovery of their daughter, Brittany. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done. 13 years of searching and praying coming to an end after investigators found Brittany's remains last week. It may have took them a long, uh, quite a long time, but we are glad that we're able to bring Brittany home. Her parents still trying to understand what happened more than a decade ago. It led to Brittany's murder, investigators say, at the hands of Raymond Moody. I am slowly processing everything that has come to light. It is bittersweet, and we have a little more closure than what we wanted. Weighing this all out is tough on a dad, tough on a mother. And the family and friends still grieving the 17-year-old girl taken from them. I am mourning my beautiful daughter, Brittany, as I have been for 13 years. But today, it's bittersweet. 
we are much closer to the closure and the peace that we have been desperately hoping for. Now they turn their focus to the courts. Having faith and hope is what's going to guide us through the end result because they still have the work to do. Today marks the beginning of a new chapter. The search for Brittany is now a pursuit of Brittany's justice. Don says they are going to speak publicly at a later date, but right now they would like their privacy as they process everything they've learned in the past few days. She also mentioned there will be two celebrations of life for Brittany, one in Rochester and one in Myrtle Beach. Working for you in Georgetown County, Katie Solt, ABC News 4. And thank you, Katie. And we are still waiting for information about court dates for Raymond Moody, now charged with murder, rape, and kidnapping of Brittany Drexel. Working for you, we'll keep you updated as the case progresses, both on air and online at abcnews4.com. It is here along the shore of the Santee River in Georgetown County, South Carolina, that 13 Wham has learned Brittany Drexel was sexually assaulted and strangled to death. Police said Raymond Moody, the man who committed the crimes, then buried her body on or about the next day in a site not far from where she was killed. The why may never be known or understood, but today this task force can confidently and without hesitation answer the rest of those questions along with the who is responsible. Raymond Moody was named a person of interest in Brittany's disappearance in 2011. Police searched the motel room where he was staying in Georgetown the year before. He had checked into room 22 the day before Brittany disappeared. Moody served 20 years in prison in California for the kidnapping and rape of an eight-year-old girl. He returned back home to Georgetown in 2005. Obviously, justice is never going to be uh, good enough. That's the, the fallacy in all of this. That somehow uh, we're going to do our very best to see that Raymond Moody um, pays for what he's done here. Uh, but that is not going to replace Brittany. Chad Drexel says he and Brittany's mom want Moody to receive the death penalty if convicted. I'm an eye for an eye guy. It's not Christian of me to say it, but he's going to answer to, to someone higher than all of us. Brittany's family learned the remains found here belonged to her last week when identified using dental records. Now they can bring Brittany home. She left behind a younger sister and brother who was in kindergarten when she disappeared. Cam is now a college freshman and left school to be here today. I was in kindergarten. Do have those special moments with her and playing soccer, just chillaxing at the house and Shall I, but yeah, a lot of mixed emotions today.